So, ladies and gentlemen, on the Montreal Canadiens uh, Vintage Sports File, we've been talking about certain players that arrived in Montreal as 30 goal scorers or better and didn't really produce in Montreal. Today, we're going to talk about the curious case of Ron Flockhart. Now, for a lot of people, the Ron Flockhart trade was a good one for Montreal, where uh, the skilled uh, player John Chabot, who wouldn't score a lot of goals, was traded to the Pittsburgh Penguins for Flockhart. Now, uh, over a number of seasons, Flockhart was averaging between 28 and 30 goals a season, mostly with Philadelphia in the early 1980s. Now, he first came to Providence, ladies and gentlemen, as one of the key players for the Regina Pats of the uh, 1980 season. And for some reason, he was undrafted, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, in his last season of the WHL, he had 130 points, including 54 goals in 69 games in a, 65 games in a regular season, and a, an impressive 34 points in a playoff. So, 164 points and 65 goals that season. He eventually started playing in Philadelphia's system, and he had 33 goals with the Maine Mariners, and that success allowed him to be called up to the Flyers for 14 games in a regular season including 10 points and three games and one goal in the playoffs. 70-82, which was rookie year, he had 33 goals and 72 points. 83, another great season, 29 goals, uh, 31 assists for 60 points. Now, uh, I'm going to talk about a trend here. The first first eight games of the 84 season, he wasn't producing at three points uh, with no goals. He was eventually uh, traded to Pittsburgh, where he scored 27 goals. Next season, 85, he had the same uh, problem. Uh, he started a slow five assists in 12 games, decided to trade him. In Montreal, he put up, up some okay numbers, not really a 20-goal uh, pace, but he had 10 goals and 12 assists in, for 22 points for uh, in 42 games. Now, 85, he played uh, Quebec in the second round. Uh, excuse me, Quebec in the, um, in the playoffs. And Stashy's goal eliminated Montreal in seven games. Now, he ended up in St. Louis in 86. Got back into his 22-goal uh, uh, pace. And uh, after a couple of seasons with St. Louis, where his production started to go down, he found himself uh, in the Boston system. 89, had four games in the NHL. And eventually wrapped up his career in Italy with some uh, strong numbers. Now, uh... Flockhart style was uh, uh, was had its own nickname. Uh, it was called Flocky Hockey, and according to the announcers, it was because of his tendency to rag the puck rather than move it quickly up ice. Now, uh, according to Gene Hart, who used to do play-by-play -play, uh, for the Flyers, Flockhart won the Grizzly Award every each year he played for the Flyers, as recollected in his autobiography score, "My 25 Years of the Broad Street Bullies." Hart created the award to an NHL for the for the NHL player born in Smithers, BC, who had the highest point total at the end of each season. Hart originally coined the award as a joke between Joe Watson and his younger brother Jimmy Watson, both load scoring Flyers defensemen who were born and raised in Smithers. And with the emergence of Flockhart, he became a lock for the award during his NHL play, uh, playing days. Now he holds a very distinct uh, record. Uh, he has the Flyers record for the fastest two goals during a game where he scored twice against the St. Louis Blues on December 6, 1981. So I really don't know why it didn't work out in Montreal for Flockhart. Maybe he had uh, the Perry Turnbull disease. We talked about it in previous podcasts. Final NHL uh, totals, 145 goals, 183 assists for 328 points in 453 games. Playoffs, 4-6-10 in 19 games. Now uh, Flockhart also coached the Dallas Freeze of the Central Hockey League for three seasons, uh, 93 to 95, as well as the Reno Renegades, later called the Reno Rage of the WCHL, between 96 and 98. So Ron Flockhart, again, uh, you know, uh, four 20-goal seasons, uh, some impressive uh, scoring uh, touch, but uh, not say a bust in Montreal, but uh, at 5'11", 185, the Habs fans were expecting more. Have a good day. Bye.